Hi there, I'm Rob Cragg, Chief People Officer here at Lancashire and South Cumbria and today I'm just come to talk to you about the importance of appraisal. Now more than ever in 2022, appraisal is a really good opportunity for you to just distance yourself from the real busyness of our working lives to focus singly on yourself, to make sure that you receive the value, understanding, listening time in a really safe space with protected time to talk about your growth, your development and your hopes for your future employment here at LSCFT. Appraisal should be a really positive thing and yes we know that on a weekly and a monthly cycle you will be having things like one-to-ones and supervisions but appraisal is like an annual MOT it's that strategic opportunity to think about where you want to be and where you want to absolutely share your talents and develop your talents within LSC. So, how can you understand and get to know appraisal more? Well, I'd really recommend our Trust Appraisal Training. You can access that through Eventbrite and there are a number of sessions, whether you're an appraisee or an appraiser, to access that training to understand more. Prior to your appraisal, there is a really self-explanatory workbook which has been developed for staff, um, by staff, and it's really, really intuitive to work through it in a simple way, and it just frames the conversation that you need to be having. And please use it as a framework. An appraisal should be a really good chat that happens to be documented. So please just make sure that you use the documentation, but you're not ruled by it. The other important thing just to state about the appraisal is that the appraisal uniquely touches all seven principles of the NHS People Promise. The NHS People Promise came into being in July 2020 and should be the way in which we feel and experience our working lives in the NHS by 2024. And I'll just illustrate now how each and every principle is covered in your appraisal. So the first principle around the People Promise is we are a team and absolutely the appraisal is all about team working. So when we're in an appraisal we set objectives and objectives are really important because the biggest factor for helping positive engagement of staff in our workforce is them feeling engaged and clarity gives us that engagement. So it links us to what the team goals are, the network goals are, it's about connection. It links us to the purpose and the ambition of the organisation and that's really important for our psychological contract. So that's the first principle. The second principle is giving you a voice that counts. And absolutely within your appraisal and when you're setting your objectives, you can talk about the improvement you think you need to see in your team, the improvement that you want to make for your service users or for internal staff. And it, in that way, you can have your say. You can be listened to about your ideas, your creativity, your innovation. The third element is always learning. It happens to be also one of our trust values. So we're really lucky here at LSC in the fact that we actually have quite a lot of educational budget. So there should be plenty of opportunity for you to fulfill your CPD ambitions or your learning ambitions and grow within us as an organisation. So please make sure when you're looking at your personal development plan, you're really trying to stretch yourself and connect and find a development offer that suits you. The fourth principle is compassion and inclusivity. And our appraisal documentation takes you through a whole set of behaviours that link to our values and you can self-assess against those to make sure that you're being that compassionate practitioner and leader in our organisation. It also gives you an opportunity when you're setting your objective to choose one inclusion objective and this is really really important because it enables you to focus on EDI issues within LSC specifically within your job role. The fifth principle is self safe and healthy. Wellbeing has been a really critical factor of our last few years in the NHS and it's really really good to have an annual stop take about how your health and wellbeing is. It's really important that we address and prevent us having to be too resilient and experience burnout within our organisations and putting little tips 
and objectives around your health and well-being and maintaining it is really good focus so your manager or your appraiser can learn how best to keep your health and well-being at a healthy state. The sixth principle is flexibility and I'm delighted to say we have a new flexible working policy. You can now put in as many flexible working requests as an annual year as you like but the appraisal process is a really good opportunity for you and your manager to talk about what additional flexibility you may need to strike that perfect working and living in um, balance. The seventh and final principle is reward and recognition. We too often think that we are not needing of this in the NHS, but we are just like any other profession. And the research suggests that we need six positive bits of feedback to every one bit of critical challenge in our working lives in order to feel valued. And the appraisal is critical in just making sure we celebrate your strengths and achievements to add to that positivity, to make sure the balance of positive versus critical comments is right for each and every one of us. So I hope you can see there, there's a real clear link between each of the seven people promises and the appraisal process. So just finally before I go, I'd just like to give four top tips about appraisal just to make sure it's really valuable process for yourself, whether you are an appraisee or an appraiser. So the first thing is prepare. Download that workbook before you are due to have your appraisal. Work through it so you can really sell your achievements, think about your objectives, think about that personal development, think about the balance of the health and well-being you might need to improve your working lives in the, in the 12 months that are to follow. Secondly, make sure that you align your appraisal to the cycle of business within LSC. So we work in a calendar of objectives from April all the way through to March. So your network should be setting its objectives for the year in April. They should be coming down to your teams, perhaps early May. So please make sure you have your appraisal at the earliest point in that April to March cycle so you can have the full opportunity to make that full contribution to those yearly objectives for your network and for your team. The third issue relates to appraisers. I know that there are some appraisers out there with a lot of appraisees and I would really recommend that you only look to appraise around about 12 people as a maximum. So please think about a cascade of, de of delegation for your appraisals because actually delegating appraisals to other senior members of your team may be a more value and experience for the appraiser because they've got more time and you've got more time to focus on your appraisers, appraisees respectively. And the final point is to enjoy it. It should be a really positive experience. Appraisals have been around for decades and they're around for a purpose. They should give us fulfillment in our working lives. There should be a point of celebration and there is, should be a lot of opportunities that come from a deeper understanding of where you want to be with that senior person in your team who's making that appraisal with you. So please, I encourage you all to make sure that you have your appraisals in a timely manner and please pick up the training and please have a look at the workbook as a consequence of seeing this video. Thank you very much.